I just finished watching Zach Bagan's Demon House film documentary, and I absolutely, I loved it. I thought it was really well done. I think Zach did a great job. I seen that uh, Jay Wosley was a co-producer. Seen Jay was in the film, and so was Billy. I think the cinematography was amazing. Um, everybody that was a part of the film, uh, making the film, did a great job. And the film is real. It's a documentary. I mean, you're you're seeing this and you're hearing these testimonials and and seeing all this in real time. And I mean, my only uh, my only regret to this day was that I did not have a heads up that there would be an opportunity to buy this place. I told my wife back when um, Zach actually bought it, I looked at her and I, well, as soon as I heard that Zach bought it, I looked at her and I said, fuck, a day late, a dollar short. Um, of course, a lot of people are like, why the hell would you want to own that? I mean, even Zach himself, who um, is a paranormal adrenaline junkie like I, is uh, he had the place uh, bulldozed, as we all know. Now, I don't want to give too much away about the film because there's a lot of people out there that haven't seen it yet. And you need to see it. You need to pay the money to buy the film. Um, he put a lot of work into it. A lot of people suffered um, for the story to come to light. And I think that the light that it was shown in was really, really, really well done. I can't say it enough. I mean, I want to watch it again right now. I'm doing this reaction, though, and, and talking about it because I want to explain something to the people out there. In the beginning of Zach's film, it says, view at your own risk. And then him himself, in the beginning, says that the film is cursed. I want to explain that to you guys because I have been explaining it to a lot of people lately with I myself. I do live streams here in my haunted home every Thursday night, uh, which actually this is about to not be my home anymore because I've bought a new home. But uh, doing my live streams, a lot of paranormal activity is witnessed live and several, several thousand individuals have seen this since I've been doing the streams. And several, several people, I can't put a number on it exactly, have told me that they have been affected by watching my live streams. When he says that the film is cursed and view at your own risk, I want everybody out there to understand that there are spirits all around us. They could be right next to you right now. Now, whether you're a skeptic or a believer, there are spirits everywhere. Whenever you're watching a film like Demon House or you're watching me on one of my live streams, spirits are watching you, watching these people try to communicate with the dead, communicating with the dead. And it amplifies activity. If you have negative spirits, demons in the vicinity of where you are, when you are watching my live stream, Zach's film, uh, other paranormal investigations, they can see how you act towards the information that um, that you're given. So if if you're showing fear, then you're obviously a target for something demonic because demons prey on fear. Satan can't be everywhere at once. He sends his demons to do his dirty work. Um, a lot of us, we, we, we know this, we understand this. And if you show that fear, then you are making yourself vulnerable for an attack. You are pretty much putting a, a, a target on you um, to be a victim of a demonic uh, attack. And you need to realize, people, uh, people need to realize they are trying to get into this field they think, oh my God, you know, that sounds a lot of fun. Let's get us a voice recorder and go to a cemetery and let's get a group together and start ghost hunting. This shit is very fucking real. 
and you're not always going to communicate with the things that you want to communicate with. You're going to communicate with things that want to communicate with you, and sometimes those things are going to be very bad. Watching a film like Demon House, um, there are people that are going to react to it differently. But when spirits are around you and they see your interest, um, your interest in in the field, the paranormal field, um, I would like to experience something like that. Oh man, I wish I could have went in there. Your reactions are noted and you can become a target for paranormal activity. It can stir up paranormal activity in your home around you because they look at this as um, you have a want to communicate with the dead um, or you have a fear. So now, as I said, you can be a target. I think it was very interesting that he put that at the beginning of his film. I think that it was a great thing to do. A lot of people will probably just look at that and be like, oh, you know, he just, he just did that to, you know, to scare us. No, he, he knows what he's, he knows what he's doing and what he's putting out there for you. And it is a genuine warning. Um, to talk about some things in the film that really stuck out to me was whenever he had himself boarded in the home, the windows, the doors, and he stayed there overnight himself. Um, first of all, like a lot of people, I, I said, well, it's nice to see him doing it for once instead of sending Aaron. <laughs> uh, it's funny, a lot of people have said that, you know, like Zach always sends Aaron to do the dirty work. But I thought it was nice that he got his, his hands dirty and, and he locked himself in there. Not that I think he's scared to do these things. I, I you know... Um, we're happy to see Aaron go in these places, but it was nice to see Zach go in there, be boarded and locked down by himself. That was something I don't think that we've ever seen before. Uh, of course, I'm not an avid watcher of Ghost Adventures like I maybe once was in the beginning, uh, but I don't believe that's ever happened. So that was really cool that Zach did that, uh, but there were repercussions, and that's what a lot of people need to understand, is when you're going to look for this, as long as you understand that bad things can happen to you, long-term things can happen to you, and you have complete acknowledgement of that, and you still want to do it, then okay. But if you don't fully understand, and you don't believe in possibility, um, then this is not something that you should do yourself. Keep watching it. Enjoy the TV shows. Enjoy the movies, the films, the documentaries. Don't do it yourself. I have experienced attachments. I have experienced possession. Um, I have been a, a, attacked several times. And mentally and physically, I know exactly what spiritual energy feels like. And I can tell you, I feel it around me as I sit here and speak to you now. Um, God strike me dead. It is very amazing, and it can be very scary. Um, it doesn't really scare me, and um, I don't have any fear of it, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because I can have more of a spiritual bulletproof vest on when I go into these places. I'm not a good target. They might attack somebody coming with me, um, before they will attack me. And, you know, that's a, a benefit to being uh, fearless of the paranormal. But, uh, you know, things can happen to you, bottom line, when you do this. And you'll see in this film, or maybe you guys have already heard, Zach developed a permanent eye problem after doing... Um, after doing the demon house and being locked in there. And it was something that they told him that if he had surgery, he'd be at risk for permanent blindness. Um, and to go without the surgery, he'd have to wear a certain kind of glasses for the rest of his life. So even Zach, who's done, uh, I believe he said he's done thousands of investigations. I myself have done close to 600. And that's crazy because I haven't been doing this as long as him. Um, but I mean, just since I've had my YouTube channel, I've, I've put out probably 300 videos of, 
of me doing investigations. So you know I, I, I stay pretty busy. But doing thousands of, thousands of investigations and just now suffering permanent uh, a permanent eye problem. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's pretty fucking serious. Um, even him himself has, has, has suffered from this. But he continues on, as will I. Uh, this is something that uh, I didn't go looking for. It was something that found me. I believe that it was a calling. And uh, I believe that there are certain people that are really in tune with this. They're really um, good at communicating with the spirit world. And the spirit world prefers to communicate. And I have always thought of Zach to be one of those people. I just have a feeling. I know there's people that don't like him. There's people that love him to death. Um, I believe I myself am a, a target uh, for the spirits because I have a true passion to communicate, good or bad. I don't care you know, what they are. The point is, is research is important. And for me to have the best research, I need to research everything and anything and all things. And that's what I've done. I have put my life on the line to capture some of the most compelling evidence that I have ever seen. That house affected a lot of people. It did a lot of damage to a lot of people. And he had it bulldozed. Now, I understand why he did that. I personally wish that I would have the opportunity to buy the house um, before doing that. If you don't want it, I'd love to have it um, for my own reasons. Um, but anyways, uh, that opportunity is no longer available, nor probably was it ever, um, because this whole thing was done pretty secretly. I mean, he said it took him three years to make the documentary, and not a lot of us realized uh, that he was even still working on it. People questioned it time to time because he opened the Haunted Museum. Uh, he's doing Ghost Adventures. Uh, I think he had other little spinoff shows. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if Deadly Possessions was him or not. i just going off what people told me here. I don't really watch a lot of TV. But it seemed like he was so busy that uh, the Demon House had kind of been forgotten about. And I think it kind of came out of nowhere uh, more recently, too, with uh, it actually coming out. I mean, I hadn't heard anything about it coming out. Then one day, all of a sudden, I'm seeing commercials for it online, and, um, and then it's at the theater the next week. So, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people suffered for that to come to light. They didn't need to, but they did. Um, people that had heard the stories, they're... Interest just got a hold of them like it would any of us diehards, and uh, they wanted to see for themselves. They went there, some of them went there as non believers, and they suffered. This is very, very real, my friends. It has put me in the hospital before where doctors have told me, I can't find anything wrong with you. I, I, I don't know why you're feeling the way you are, why you're having this attack, why, you know. Of your blood work came back good. You shouldn't have these kind of um, effects, these results. The way these things can affect us is, you can't even explain it. You, you just have to undergo it. But like I said, you want to be careful if that's something that you're thinking about because it could lead to death. And I think that he showed uh, permanent eye damage people um, developing sicknesses and cancer and, and, and having uh, massive uh, accidents and, and breaking bones and all kinds of crazy things, as you'll see in this film, can happen. And um, I myself have experienced some stuff that not everybody gets to see here. A lot of people don't get to see the whole picture. They get to see what I edit and put out for them. Um, and sometimes I just edit and put out the good stuff for you guys. I don't uh, put out the standing around at a location for an hour, asking questions, doing certain experiments, trying to get things to happen. You don't really see all that. I put out the evidence for you because that's what I'm there for is to capture evidence. And I think there's enough shows out there that, uh, you know, a lot of these people, they, they spend all night long in a place. 
Um, they'll spend 48 hours in a place. They'll spend a week in a place. I don't do that. Um, if I go there and it is truly active, I feel that uh, I can bring it out and I will try. And if I fail after a certain amount of time, then I shag ass out of there. But uh, I rarely do fail because there are spirits everywhere. You just have to know how to tap into uh, the communication with them. And I've been uh, very blessed to do so. I think the film was really, really good. I think you did a good job, Zach. I hope anybody out there that uh, was thinking about checking out the film that hasn't checked it out yet will check it out. If it was my film, I would be super proud. And um, I would definitely I would keep pushing it because I believe it deserved to be open. Um, seen at all theaters, not selected theaters. And uh, I've seen people already starting to leak little bits of it out online. And, you know, that shouldn't be happening. This film deserves to be purchased. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about that. The real vi reason I wanted to make the video was to talk about um, him saying the film was cursed and uh, view at your own risk. So, now you know, um, even watching these things can amplify the activity around you, in your home, and, and in your life. It's Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel yet, do. As I mentioned earlier, I have about 300 plus videos on here. Uh, some of the most compelling paranormal evidence on the internet. If you're not subscribed yet, do so. Leave comments below. Be sure to tell a friend. Thank you.